So for the video 11 series, uh, this is where it might get a little bit complicated. We want to be able to have the levels actually matter. And in order to do that, what we do is we make a new variable called speed. And this is both the speed of the uh, frog and the speed of the vehicles. I don't actually want speed to appear, so I'm just going to uncheck the box and hide it. Um, you could actually have the speed of vehicles as a separate variable, but I like to have them all as one, just so it's easier to keep track of. And again, at the very beginning of the game, I'm going to set speed. Um, so I'll set speed to three, uh, or maybe, yeah, I'll set speed to three because that's the speed of my frog. And then I can slow down the other um, vehicles in the different lanes. So that's now set speed to three. So now I just need to go and find where is it that my frog actually moves. So here's where I've got um, a speed of three or the down arrow is a speed of negative three. So for the three, the positive three, I can just put in speed and speed. And, and then later as the speed increases with the new levels, then this will just automatically sp speed up my frog. Um, now, to make the negative three, I have, I have to do a little bit of a trick. For those of you that um, know about multiplication, you know that if you multiply any number by negative one, it will turn a positive into a negative. So I'm just going to multiply speed by negative one. Uh, and I, I actually need two of those, so I'll duplicate them. And so I'll put one into there, and I'll put the other one into this negative three. So there, so now uh, if I run this, then my frog is operating exactly the same as he was before. Um, but now he has the potential to really speed up. And now I can go to the cars. And again, uh, this is the car in the slow lane, the red one. So instead of saying change X by two, uh, I want to use speed, but I just need to subtract one. So I'm going to say uh, speed minus one. Uh, there we go. And then I can go to my yellow vehicle and it just travels at speed. So I can just put that in here instead of the three, change X by three becomes change X by speed. Uh, the pink vehicle is going the other direction. So it's a negative three. So instead of speed, I'm going to say multiply uh, n negative one multiplied by speed. Put that in there. And the difference comes for this other uh, convertible up here, the one that's traveling in the slow lane going backwards. So uh, in that case, I am going to uh, use multiples of these. So first I'm going to say uh, negative one uh, multiplied by speed. And then I'm going to take all of that and subtract uh, or and add one to it. So instead of saying negative three, I'm going to add one to it to get negative two. I know it's kind of bizarre, but I'm going to add one. And then uh, I can just slide this into that gap. So negative one times speed and then add one to do it not quite so badly. And then put all of that together into this. It's kind of a little bit um, crude, but uh, it will certainly be effective. So let's run the game and see, does everything still, yes, our vehicles all still operate. Our frog still operates. I've got our frog muted right now, so if he dies, I don't have to listen to the bell toll. Uh, and if I get to the finish area successfully, then I don't have to listen to that laugh. And okay so everything is working exactly the same way as it was before however the benefit is is that when i I'll just stop this for a second when i go to the frog and i go down to the area where i get to the finish line and i'm leveling up and here here we can say um, change uh, change level by one change points by 50. so what i can do in here is i can add more uh, more things and uh, what I'm going to do just really quickly is I'm just going to put this off to the side 
uh, I just want to prove a concept to you and that is that we haven't I haven't shown you how the broadcast works yet so I'm just gonna come in here and after it's played the sound to celebrate the finish area after it's glided back to the start area uh, I'm gonna broadcast a, a new broadcast a new message and it's gonna be called level up okay so there's broadcast level up and then what I want to know is I want to when I receive that level up then I'm going to change the level by one change the points by 50 uh, and I'm also going to question should we speed things up or not so if I was going to increase the speed by one every single level, then by the time I get to level three, things are going to be out of control. So let me just kind of show you really quickly. So there's level one, and now you'll notice, the, did you see the cars jump a little faster forward? And my frog is definitely moving quicker. Now the frogs are, frog is really moving fast. The vehicles are going faster. And, well, maybe, maybe I can still survive this. I'm at level six whoa there we go and level seven is cooking and level eight oh i died well, oh i died again so what you can see here oh i died again so what you can see here is that maybe i don't want to change the speed on every level let's just stop this for a second maybe what i want to do is i want to only change it every three levels or every two levels uh, to make it a little bit more interesting so that my players will play on uh, a little bit longer. So this is just one of one of the methods. Um, you could actually have a completely different background that displays on level up. You could have more vehicles that display on level up. Um, but this is just a really, really easy way to do it. So we broadcast level up and then when we receive level up, we do all these things. I am going to um, put in a quick if statement. So I'm not going to change the speed every time. Uh, I'm only going to change the speed every um, time that level. Uh, now, I don't know if you've ever seen a mod before, but a mod is uh, in division. Remember in elementary school you learned about remainders? Well, uh, a mod is the remainder and, or the modifier. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, speed. Oh, no, sorry, uh, level. And if I level mod uh, three, so every third level, we're going to increase the speed. And then I want to ask, is that equal to? So is the level mod three equal to three? Oh, no, that won't work. Uh, there's never going to be a remainder three, a remainder two. OK. So if level mod three equals two, then change the speed by one. Okay, so let's check this out. So here we go. Oh, the speed changed that time. Speed did not change that time. Speed did not change that time. Oh, and it sped up again. So you can play with uh, the levels in the mods. Um, maybe you want to set it to zero, and then that way um, it will speed up right away on the, the very first uh, level. Should at least. Oh, no, it didn't. So it didn't speed up for level one. And, oh, it speeds up for level two. Okay. Oh, it says it's on level three now. All right, so it's sped up for level three. So that's what we wanted. So we want level mod equals three, uh, level mod three equals zero, then change speed by one, and then it will, every third level, it will increase the speed. So that way people will uh, get to enjoy their speed a little bit better.